Welcome to Ink Master. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. This is where artists come to push themselves to the limit, proving that they have the technical skills, the artistic talent, and the passion to compete at the highest level. That's right. In the end, only one of you will walk away with $250,000. Oh my God. That's a lot of money. And the title of Ink Master. Oh yeah. 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 Let's go. Today, you have six hours to tattoo anything you want. Okay. Anything we okay. want? That's it. No style restrictions, no insane subject matter, no crazy placement, no excuses. I'm ready to knock somebody out. It's not going to be very many times you guys get to actually be 100% yourself in this competition. So make sure you let us know exactly who the f you are as artists. You get one tattoo and one chance to show us everything you've got. Your canvases are completely open and have been randomly assigned. You will have six hours to tattoo any style and any subject matter. All right. Start designing. Right now. And good luck. All right. I would have loved this challenge when I was competing. First challenge, they get to show whatever they want. That looks pretty sick, bro. This is what you do, it's your style, so it better be perfect. A lot of my drive comes from just like the fact that there's not really much artistic opportunity out where I live. You know, it's a very small town. I'm a queer tattoo artist who had many obstacles to get to where I am today. And I'm here to showcase that no matter what you go through, you can make shit happen. Like, it's always been a dream of mine to be here. This was the competition that made me fall in love with tattooing. I hope that, you know, people see my art and see me for me. Oh, yeah. You'll be noticed. Especially in this bright ass red shirt. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Early digger face, man, that's so unique. Yeah, it's crazy that traditional tattoos have been around for a hundred years, but we still get the same white lady heads. I specialize in a style that I coined Afro-Americana. It is traditional tattoos, including black people, black culture, and black history. We gotta bring some diversity, some representation to this shit, you know? I dig it. I just want black people to have art that they can feel represents them on their bodies. You know, Afro-Americana just sounds nice. It's like, that'd be... Well, it's got a ring to it. Yeah, you know? What's up, B? I'm not just trying to fight this clock right now. Dude, you see what happens in here, right? And I'm stressing. I'm looking here, I didn't even see the I know. girl in the back. I just sneaked that in, bro. I want to prove to the judges that I don't just do lady faces. I can design a tattoo that has thought in every single aspect, from the beginning to the end, from the frame to the inside. I want everything to be perfect. That's sick. <laughs> Let's see if I can finish it. My style is black and gray realism, black and gray fine line. I do a lot of traditional Hindu tattoos. Chose like a Ganesh? Yeah. This tattoo is supposed to look like a stone statue. So building this texture and this look takes time. Are you feeling on time? Like a turtle, but I'm moving. You hanging tough? I come from a street shop. I don't have a style. I replicate things that are picked off the wall. I'm a tattooer. I'm not an artist. I mean, this is the way that's gonna make it pop. My strategy with this design is to do the bare minimum and to hit my mark. What I'm hoping is that another contestant will bite off more than they can handle. It's a calculated move. I think this works. 15 artists, 15 tattoos, 12 shops. Based on your tattoos and the decisions you made, three of you will be going home. But there is one more thing that can help you succeed in this game. The anticipation's killing me. A coach. Okay. Yes. Good. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. This season, Ryan, Nico, and DJ will each coach a team. It's time to reveal the rankings. Please reveal the highest ranked tattoo. Let's do this. Congrats. Bobby, congratulations. Top ranked. Feels good. I wasn't expecting it. There was good tattoos. You get to choose your coach. Three very different choices. Bobby, who do you choose as your coach? It's tough. Um, I, I gotta go with DJ. First pick, first shop. Let's ride it out, bro. God damn you, DJ. Hell yeah. Oh, it's on now. Please reveal the lowest ranked tattoo. That artist will be eliminated. What? Really? 
Joel, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Joel, pick your head up. You're a solid artist. There's great technical ability in this tattoo. It's really just composition that puts you behind. I just feel so disappointed in myself. Please pack your machines and head home. This is always the toughest part of this competition. We do have two more artists that will be going home. Please reveal the 14th ranked tattoo. This artist will also be going home. Aaron, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Overall, I think it's like a really solid tattoo. It just got lost on what's exactly happening. I started tattooing a little under four years ago. Watching this competition, it really helped me grow as an artist. I'm glad to even be in this room because I didn't imagine myself being here. You're gonna pave the way for this style of tattoos. Keep going, man, and strive for the stars. I really appreciate it. Please pack your machines and head home. Thank you. Dave and Brian, one of you have earned your shop and one of you will be going home. Please reveal the 12th ranked tattoo. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Based on the rankings, we have a tie. One artist is going to earn their shop, and one artist is going home. Judges, we have to break the tie. Dave's tattoo is a little harder to read for me. And Brian's tattoo, dude, you have fundamentals down, solid lines, great shading. I will own up to the fact that I didn't get super creative with it because I didn't want to risk it. I did struggle with the timing, but these are all issues that I could always fix. So do you go with the artist that played it safe, or do you go with the artist that swung for the fences? But it wasn't enough. Most important thing is fundamentals in tattooing. My vote is for Brian. My vote is for Brian to stay. Hell yeah. My vote is also for Brian. That means, Dave, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I respect your decision. I will take everything you told me, all the insight, go back to the lab and grow. Please pack your machines and head home. Congratulations, Brian. You have earned the fourth spot on Team Nico. The teams are set. Team DJ. Team Nico. Team Ryan. Only one of you is going to win. Yeah, that's what I'm saying right there. Let the games begin. Today, you must tattoo a skull. Yes, a skull. Yes. Skulls are just so versatile. You can tattoo a pretty skull, a gruesome skull. You can add a skull to any piece of art. It's up to you to take this very ordinary subject matter and make it extraordinary. <laughs> You'll have six hours to push your artistry to the limits and turn an ordinary skull into an amazing tattoo. Good luck. Everyone knows what a human skull looks like, so the real challenge is getting these artists to put their own creative spin on it and show us something that we haven't seen before. Yeah, it's all these teeth, man, it's so gross. I do cute things. I don't really do skulls. If I do skulls, I make them cute. Oh, what's more creepy than just like a shitload of teeth? I would love to change around my canvas's ideas, but I want to make her feel safe and comfortable. My wife and I opened up our shop to be a safe space for the girls, the gays, and the theys, and you know what? They don't come to me for skulls. What's your plan for the spiders? I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it oh, out. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just out of my element. I would love if you committed a little bit more to these super tight lines, just to give some detail. Don't be afraid to be that artist, especially on Artistry Day. I'm trying to like play it cool just so they don't know what my weak spots are. I don't think anyone else here has the technical ability to pull off what I am doing today. There's really detailed realism in the skull. I'm doing stitching detail. It's just a mix of a lot of different skill sets. Don't do it if you feel not confident. But I'm just wondering, like, because it's orange, you could get a bluish color. It's a contrasting color. It's going to pop it a little bit more. Look, I trust your gut. 
Today, you are being tested on artistry, taking a basic skull and turning it into a badass tattoo. Let's see how you did. Jessica, if you're gonna go with a weird skull with all these teeth, you gotta execute it in a way that feels more dynamic. I really tried to get you to recognize what your good traits are, which is a lot of the teeny, teeny, tiny little line work that you do. And so to me, it doesn't show very much artistry because I wish you would have used those lines to give it texture, to make it as weird as you could make it. Freddie. You really put your signature on this piece. I really like what you did with the bottom jaw. I think it's super cool. I love how you strategically put in those pops of the teal. That was Nico's idea, I will say. Oh, Nico, what a good coach you have. You may have lost that front part of the jawbone without it. Then you drop that gold cross on the hat, and it really did a great job of executing something different. I love this tattoo. Thank you. Cheers. Judges. It's time to decide who had the best tattoo of the day. I'm hands down, Freddy. That thing's sick. He killed this. It looks like a watercolor painting. On a day where we're testing artistry, it's a really cool take. My vote, tattoo of the day, Freddy. My vote is for Freddy. I'm gonna have to give it to Freddy. I'm gonna go for Freddy. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Freddy. She's creative, dog. Freddie, you are safe from elimination. This week, your artistry was put to the test. The judges have decided, Jessica, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Oops. Today, you must tattoo 360 degree tattoos. What? What? What the does that mean? There is no greater test of adaptability than a tattoo that wraps completely around a part of the body. Oh. Which part? Yeah. Oh, God. The trickiest part about a 360 degree tattoo is you're not wrapping this tattoo around something with even measurements. I know you weren't expecting it to be that big. Yeah, um, more of a chest tattoo. You have to adapt by making this design cool from every angle. Doing this takes a lot of skill. They all link together really nicely. Cool. <laughs> that worked. This is a double elimination. If there's any time to show what you're made of, now's the time. I think it, it's not perfect, so maybe like a little bit smaller and a little bit down. The human body is not symmetrical. Damn, this thing's way off center. I know. I know. This one? Yeah. yeah. It was because my head is crooked. I was actually no. born with. Because your head's crooked? <laughs> the, the artist who did that, his head was crooked. Trying to get this stencil on her is a nightmare. You guys are killing your time. I know. This whole time thing is not tight. It takes the fun out of everything. The hardest thing about this tattoo is to make it seem like it's a part of the same story. I feel like the most confident with this side, I, I have a roadmap, but I feel like on the inside with this bat, I'm gonna have to draw some shit on. Perfect. The smoke turn into Perfect. tree branches. Yep. I really wanna take the time to make certain images interact with one another. Cause if you don't, it'll just look very copy and paste, copy and paste. It seems pretty calm. Uh, you should see my armpits. They are not calm. A lot of information to get in. I'm just gonna get this connecting part and then I wanna add in like the lighter teal. Just make sure everything's equal, dude. Like mm -hmm. all in here. It's very hard to pack the ink solid. I'm worried that all my colors are not going to go into the skin and it's gonna look patchy. You don't need anything? No. Just pick up another machine, help you out. <laughs> like two more machines? I know. <laughs> Today, you had to prove your adaptability, creating a wraparound tattoo that looks great from every angle. Let's see how you did. Sydney. I love the design, but you have to center the cleavage and make sure that that lines up with the face. And if she has a tattoo there already that's already off, that's really hard to look at. You should have got her to stay away from her neck because the things we like about it are your style. But everything else about it, it just makes me stressed out. Brian. 
When you look at the house and the angel in front of it, it's all the same tone. And it's those areas you have to figure out how to completely pull things away from each other. And it's all a matter of tonality. Dark against light, dark against light. But I don't think you fully committed to super saturated solid black in the areas that you should have. That was <laughs> Coral. You do have this nice focal point, the eye. It's like where you spent all your time. But then if you just see the back of his arm, it's just really sporadic and all over the place. And technically, there's not too many solid areas of black, colors, patchy. For me, it's kind of a chaotic mess. It's like this. Judges, it's time to decide who had the best tattoo of the day. Unless we're giving out participation awards, I don't think any of these tattoos slanted out of the park. Right now, it's hard for me to pick one that I think is like head and tails above Yeah, I mean, all. is there like a complete shining moment? Golden child here? I don't think so. Are we all saying there's no tattoo of the day? I can't single one out, so yeah. Judges have decided there is no best tattoo of the day, so no one is safe. This week, we tested your adaptability. The judges have decided, Coral, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you.